Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Thanks for tuning in to this session of Cooking Connections. My name is Amber Paxton and I am a nutrition program associate with the Jackson County area. The recipe that I have chosen for us to do today is one of my all time favorites. Very simple, very quick, and very versatile as well. It is fruit salsa with cinnamon chips. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda go step by step the ingredients that we need, and I've already done some of this ahead of time, but we need one cup of strawberries. We're actually gonna wash these beforehand because fruits do get hands touched on them as well, so we wanna make sure we wash all of those germs away. But we're gonna wash our strawberries and then cut them up into bite-sized pieces. We also have one banana, same deal here. We have kiwi, and then we have a Granny Smith apple. Now, if you don't like some of these fruits that we've chosen, no big deal. You can take them out. You can replace them with others. If you want even more fruits, go ahead and do that as well. Very versatile in that way, okay? The other ingredients that we have to work with is some sugar. We have cinnamon and nutmeg for our spices. And then we also have lemon juice, which just serves to make sure our apples and our bananas don't turn brown. Because lemon juice has that effect to help keep them a little bit fresher longer. Okay, the other things we have is whole wheat tortillas. Um, hopefully you can get your hands on some. I know it took me a few trips to the grocery store, different locations to actually find some whole wheat ones, which is great. Everyone's wanting whole wheat. Um, if you don't have whole wheat, regular white flour is okay. Whole wheat just has a lot more nutrients and fiber, which is really important just to keep our digestive tract going smoothly and just to keep, keep us regular, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then the last ingredient that we have is just some some cooking spray okay so the first thing that I would recommend doing is turning on your oven to 350 degrees and then washing your hands after just because you know you have germs on there as well but once you have done those two things I would start on your cinnamon chips first because those those have to cook and you can kind of multitask while those are baking um, so for our cinnamon chips, we are going to take four tortillas. You can increase that if you would like to, double it, triple it, however, however many that you want. Um, but we're just gonna take some tortillas and some kitchen shears, and you're just gonna let your kiddos have fun with this. Let them be creative, and you're just going to cut whatever shapes that you want. They don't have to be perfect as long as they're still edible. Um, but you're just gonna cut them up into little shapes, whatever it may be. Let your kiddos have fun with it and be creative. But once you have done that, you're actually going to spray your baking sheet with your cooking spray. And then you're gonna put all of those cut up tortillas on there. And then you're gonna take your cooking spray again and spray it on top of our tortillas. And the reason being is because that kind of serves as the glue for your spices or your, your sugar and your cinnamon that you're gonna be sprinkling on top of there. So after you do that, you're gonna take your cinnamon and sugar, sprinkle that on top of it, and then put it into the oven for seven to 10 minutes. For me, it took 10 minutes. Just depends on how your oven works, but I like mine a little bit more crispy to actually be, resemble more of a chip, I guess you could say. Um, but I already did that, so we wouldn't have to wait. And this is what they look like. Here, I can show you. You know, just like you would get at a store, but it's a little, you, you have a little bit more pride because you made them yourself. So we've already done that, um, or they're cooking. And so while they're doing that, you can work on your fruit salsa. And so, like I said, we have 
our strawberries. So we're just gonna put this in a bowl and mix it all up. Very simple, like I said. So we're gonna add those in there. Make sure we get them all. Okay, then we're gonna do our bananas or whatever fruit that you do choose. Then we have our kiwi. And I forgot to mention on the kiwi, you can actually keep the brown, the brown surroundings and the brown covering if you would like to. That is still edible. Um, I just chose not to just because it's more of a texture thing for me, but I would highly encourage you to try it out because not a lot of people know that. We're gonna add that into there. Okay, and then we have last but not least our our lovely Granny Smith apples. And then we have some sugar, whatever's left over after we have done, done the chips. Okay. And then we have our cinnamon and nutmeg. We did use some cinnamon for the chips, but whatever's left over we use, use here. And then last but not least, we have our lemon juice, just to make sure everything stays fresh. And it does add a little bit more flavor as well. So after we have, you know, put all of that in one bowl, we are going to, to mix it. Make sure we get all, all of the sugar and our spices mixed together. Make sure it's all even. And I would almost, I probably use a smaller bowl here, but probably bigger is the better so that it's not as messy, especially if your kids are helping you. But essentially, once we have done that, you have your fruit salsa. And then once your, your chips are done, all you have to do is take your chip you have your salsa, and voila, fruit, salsa, and chips. Enjoy, guys.